To begin with electricity we should first know what is charge dot I in fact flow of electron is charge represented as Q. If an electrons are moved out of a surface of an atom then total charge so produced on the surface is given by Q equals N into A. SI unit of charge is column. Charge on an electron A equals 1.67 guna 10 column. Rate of flow of charge is called an electric current. If Q is a charge flowing through a wire and time taken as T, then current I equals Q upon T. SI unit of I equals 1 column upon 1 second equals 1 ampere. Therefore, one column of charge flowing through a wire can be defined as 1 ampere. For example, if 5 C of charge flowing through a wire in 2, then I equals 5 upon 2 Q equals 2.5 ampere. Let us take some questions. What happens when 5 electrons are gone out of the surface of an atom? Loosening of 5 electron makes the surface electropositive. Hence charge on the surface equals 0 minus 5 into minus 1.67 guna 10 to the power minus 19 equals plus 8.35 into 10 to the power minus 19 column. Within a metal there are always free electrons that moves from one point to another, thus creating a vacancy, which now becomes more of positive in nature. Now as we know water always flow from higher level to lower level. Therefore, if we want to have a continuous flow of current, we must create same kind of potential difference in between positive and negative charge. It depends upon potential of charge by which it can move. Therefore, we have to define potential first. So, potential is defined as amount of work done in bringing a negative charge particle to a fixed point. When the same charge is brought from from a point A to point B, we call it as potential difference PD. Let a charge Q is moving from A to B. In doing so let work done as W. Therefore, we define potential as V equals with Q. Equals work done per unit charge. SI unit of V equals joules column. Equals JC. One word substitution as volt as V. Therefore, one J of work done per column is one volt.